For cheap, fast, and reliable Ultimate Team coins, check out igvault.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 6% off. Terms and conditions apply. Link below. Through until the 2nd of January, IG Vault are doing a giveaway for a Nintendo Switch and a bunch of gift cards. All you have to do is click the link in the description or use code HABER on their website. So EA give us four free Prime Icons in a free Prime Icon pack. What a company, eh? What an amazing company. This company clearly cares about their player base, huh? This company is a company that absolutely loves the people that play the game. They adore the people that play the game. They really know how to make the customer feel appreciated. Did I mention they give us these free prime icons on a game that's a year old? Probably should have mentioned that. The latest promotional stunt in the long line of promotional stunts from EA is to give us four free prime icons on FIFA 18 and as soon as you load into FIFA 18 to claim these four free prime icons you get hey foot buns as a token of our appreciation for your foot continued agreement throughout the year we have rewarded your foot 18 club with a pack containing four untradeable icons we have introduced more of the world's biggest football players as foot icons in FIFA 19 join us and build your squad today no way Wow, thank you so much for this amazing reward. As a reward of playing and engaging in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team, you have earned the following returning user rewards in Foot 19. Now, don't get this twisted. This was what you got when you first logged into the web app. You don't get this now. No. You get this when you first log into the web app. But they're saying it now as if they're an amazing company. Because I've logged into FIFA 18 since FIFA 19 has come out. Because I've done a video where I looked at some of the old uh, plays that I had in my club. And, uh... Yikes. Yay. Good one. Nice one to try and make us think that we've got some amazing reward. Like, are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? So, the amazing company themselves who give us a foot free point icon pack. But don't get it twisted. We get the exact same ones. Loudrup's about to, uh, Loudrup sorry, is about to come out of this pack. How do I know that? Because everyone got the exact same pack. As you see, whoa, no way, the Danish flag. Cam, oh my god, Ryan's a prophet. It's Loudrup. No, because everyone gets the same one. Do you know what's ironic about it? As you see Desai, uh, Van der Sar and Shevchenko pop up. Whoa, they're all 91 rated. What happens when you switch 9 and 1? You get 19. It's a promotional stunt from EA. Are you kidding? Like, this company are ridiculous. Wow, I completely forgot what my team looked like last year. This is this is like a fully untradeable team. This is this is crazy, dude. I had this, I had this card untradeable, man. Oh my word, look at this, dude. Okay. Like, this is what upsets me. We are currently in December. Sorry, we are in January. Happy New Year, by the way. We are January 1st, and EA feel it's so necessary to try and get people to go back to their game on January 1st that they're trying to make people that didn't buy the game buy the game. That upsets me. That right there upsets me. And the reason that upsets me is because we're in January. The game should be engaging enough to keep people playing. I would have thought they'd have done this maybe in like June, July time. By the way, I'm just going to do a bunch of, uh, of these SBCs to get 300k packs just for content purposes. I would have expected like maybe in like, uh, what's the word? Maybe in a time where like the game's dead, like June, July, like past team of the season. Maybe then I would be like, okay, yeah, cool game. Like, like try and bring people back to the game. That'd be dope. Not in January. January, like, team of the year is in two weeks. People should be really excited and, and coming back to the game. I don't understand how bad this company must be at making games that they need to try and promote the game on last year's game in January. And it hurts my brain. Not only that, but we've just finished Footmas promo. The Footmas promo was quite possibly the worst promotion in FIFA history. I don't care what your opinion is and if it differs from mine. It's not your like your opinion can't be correct if you thought the footballs promo was good. I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone, but it's true. I'm I'm, I'm angry and I'm talking emotionally based here. Like my emotions are coming through more than anything because I love FIFA and I want to enjoy FIFA and I find it really difficult to enjoy FIFA at the minute because FIFA's bad. FIFA's a bad game and it's annoying. It really is annoying. So. Yeah, we've just finished. We've just finished the Footmas promo, uh, and I'm not gonna lie. How many Footmas cards did you guys complete? It, uh, there might be a crazy guy in the comment that said I, I completed all of them, but I guarantee 99% of you did not complete more than three Footmas cards. The ones I completed were Arias and Gomez, stupidly, but Gomez was for a video. Now a, a lot of people will have probably completed Arias, um, Zakaria, maybe because they were the cheap ones. You know, they, they, they were good value for money. And it's annoying that we are forced now, like we're forced then in that situation to complete icons 
uh, not a complete icons, complete footmas players that we don't want to do just because they're the only ones that seem actual value for money. That's what annoys me and that's what upsets me about the game is that we only complete the ones that seem actual value for money and it annoys me and the game's been frustrating me a lot recently and I don't understand why, why EA think that it's acceptable to put such a bad promo then and then expect people to play the game. I, I'm lost. I'm lost. I don't know what, like, what, what more can we expect from this company? The gameplay is below par. The gameplay is not good. I don't think we get chemistry here, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, the gameplay is below par. The gameplay is far below par, actually. The, the gameplay is absolutely horrifically below par. And that's what upsets me the most, is that if they had good gameplay, if they made a game that was enjoyable to play, do not get me wrong, I would be playing it all the time. I would be playing this game so much. But I find myself retreating to games like Fortnite. I find myself retreating to games like, I don't know, PUBG. I, I played PUBG the other day. Instead of playing Division Rivals because the gameplay sucks. Not only does the gameplay suck, the, the Weekend League, like, <sighs> what? Is the weekend league you can literally get elite three if you just play home games only any like anyone any gold player can get elite three by just playing home games early in the week uh, so home games only in the weekend league like that, does that not seem like something that's completely unfathomable that home games early is what home games only sorry not home games early home games only is what like determines if if you're going to finish well in the weekend league or not like how stupid is that i'm just i'm, I'm at my wit's end honestly I, I i don't mean to rant about the game but like this feels like an insult putting prime icons into fifa 18 feels like an insult after the, the promotion we just got after the promo we just got it feels like an absolute insult and i'm genuinely insulted by the fact that ea think that putting prime icons of fifa 18 is how they up their sales and not actually making good promos and making people want to play the game. That's what I. That's what confuses me about this company is that you could quite easily engage people to play the game. You could quite easily engage people to buy the game if you made good promos, if you improved the gameplay, if you just had a good game in the first place, people would naturally buy the game. If you had a promo, for example, if Team of the Year promo smashes it out of the park, I guarantee myself and a bunch of other content creators will be praising EA to no end. I always praise EA when the content, when when, when there's a content that's good. Sorry, when when the content is good, should I say? When when there's a promo that's good, I praise EA for it. You know, I give EA props for it, and other content creators do the same. So if they give us a good promo, then they will get the props they deserve. And actually, just from word of mouth, from from content creators saying the game is good people go and buy the game for that reason and that's what sort of like that, that that's a good marketing cycle that's something that is actually a very good marketing cycle and i don't get why they think this is how they market the game from making people on a one-year-old game buy the game like, like, like there's a reason people didn't buy the game there's a reason people playing fifa 18 still did not buy fifa 19 and they were completely right to do so i'm just i'm shocked I, i'm honestly shocked uh in terms of uh things that they could do right I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't have that many suggestions for them, to be honest. I don't. I, I. I don't really know what what they could do at this point. I mean, give us some incredible SBCs at, in Team of the Year in two weeks' time, and I think a lot of people will forgive EA for for the poor content. Um, you know, take your time with the pack. Don't don't do a patch once every three months like last year. Don't do it. Don't don't random. But don't do a patch once every two weeks. And if you're going to patch something, actually patch it. Uh, they've said they've patched so many things. And at, at this point now, I'm starting to believe that they, they're trying a placebo effect with us. Where they're saying they're patching stuff and they're not actually patching it. Because you can still change your custom tactics in the pause screen. And it makes your players go all the way around the pitch. You know, your your left back's now playing striker. Your striker's now playing goalkeeper. If you change your custom tactics in the pause screen, that's what happens. But they said they patched it like two and a half months ago and they just didn't. They literally just didn't. And that's what hurts my brain. Like stuff like that, like, like they're not patching things like that. It just... It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, so if they could, if they could work on what they're actually patching, if they could perhaps invest in more servers. I know it's a big ask. I know it's expensive, but we're talking about a multi-billion-dollar company. We we're talking about a company that probably made a hundred million in FIFA sales this year, a hundred percent. And the reason that I say that is because think about it. The game was a hundred pounds. 
only a million people had to buy the hundred pound version to make a hundred million in sales. They probably made way more than that in sales, to be honest. I think in total they've sold like twenty five million copies across three years of FIFA. Uh, what? That, like, think about the 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 lightning rounds for footmates. Think about the lightning rounds for Black Friday. They sold out in a few minutes. Think about how much money they made. Why can they not invest in better servers? It, it's it's become a meme at this point that if you want to play the game on 6 p.m. on a promo Friday, uh, weekend league for example, you're gonna experience the most delay, and that shouldn't be a thing. Think about any other game in the world. Think about any, literally any company in the world. What other company has a game where if you play on a certain time, you know you're going to experience horrific gameplay and a horrific delay? In fact, what other game company? Fortnite, for example, Epic Games, they're, they're smashing it right now. They have two different game modes in their game, creative and playground. On playground, it's a four max server, and the server is client side as opposed to server side. Why can't EA do anything like that? I don't, I don't get it. I don't, it uh, I'm angry. I'm angry. I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I love FIFA. I've loved FIFA since about FIFA 12 Ultimate Team. I fell in love with it then and I've loved it ever since. And I'm starting to fall out of love with FIFA and it's making me really angry. Uh, uh, you know, as a content creator, you don't really want to lose passion for the game you're creating content around. But it's very hard to keep passion for the game you're creating content around. And sadly... I am losing my motive to enjoy FIFA. I'm losing my motive to enjoy the game. I'm just, I'm, I'm losing all motivation to play FIFA. And I really wish that wasn't the case, but it is. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, smash like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry for the rant. I'm just angry. I'm just always angry now at this game and it, it hurts. So that's it from me. And I'll see you lads later.